hello students today i'll teach you the second assignment of biology of class 6 and as if you have seen the first assignment in that assignment you have seen that in the previous assignment you have studied about the different parts of a leaf like leaf plate or lamina leaf apex leaf margin leaf base midrib and veins now here is a external structure of leaf where you can see all the different parts of a leaf now you can easily see, see the tip of the leaf is known as leaf apex and the basal part of the leaf which is attached to the stem is known as leaf base and this center part of the leaf is known as midrib and the outer part of the leaf is known as leaf margin and the flat green part of the leaf this part is known as leaf plate or lamina then you can see here few small veins in this diagram these are known as veins these veins are present inside the leaf now here it is an external structure of a leaf so now we study about the different kinds of leaves on the basis of lamina leaves are of two kinds see first is simple leaf and the other one is compound leaf now you can see simple leaf simple leaf is it consists of single and undivided lamina without any cuts in some cases leaf plate is slightly incised you can see the picture of a simple leaf this kind of leaf is known as simple leaf now here are a few examples of simple leaf like leaves of mango, mustard leaf and banyan leaf. These are a few examples of simple leaf. Now the second type of leaf is compound leaf. Now when lamina is cut down up to the midrib or petiole to form many leaflets, such a leaf is called a compound leaf. Here you can see the picture of a compound leaf in which you can see there are so many leaflets on the uh, around uh, on the midrib of the leaf. So this is a picture of a compound leaf and there are few examples of compound leaf like leaves of neem and tamarind. Now on the basis of this assignment I'm going to give you a few questions. Now you have to answer these questions. First is draw and label the external structure of a leaf. As you have seen the structure of leaf, you have to draw it in your copies and you have to label its parts. Then second question is how many types of leaves are there? Then third question, define simple leaf. Then fourth question, give few examples of simple leaf. Then next is question number five, define compound leaf. And question number six is give few examples of compound leaf. So with this, uh, this assignment is over. Now we'll give you the third assignment after few days. Thank you.